Hello YouTube, um, this is the final video for my fish tank. Um, it's now 100% finished. Uh, I've added fish, I've checked all the water, uh, nitrate level, all that sort of stuff. Um, added in a filter. Um, really simple to make that is. Uh, just give you a quick view of what there is at this end. There's all the filtration, there's a little pump there, heater in the back. Quite a few live plants as we move around, um, a few rocks in the middle, and down this end it's a bit more like a forest, in, in forest in the water of plants and rocks. These are my new fish. Um, they're really quite colourful and I like catching them. A few of my old ones in here. Um, okay, then I'm going to stop this now. I actually need to clean my filter so. When I put it back together, I will show you uh, how I uh, how it's made, and then just briefly how it works. Okay, then put it in the stand right now. This is my filter. Um, it's uh, a hand built, made it myself. Um, I got it from a, a bottle, as you can see, the shape of it, cut it in half. Um, I then used a, a cigarette lighter to melt the top slightly. This did two things. One, it bended it all in. I'll show you why later. The other one is it removes any sharp edges. Um, quite simple. Now, uh, this pipe at the top here is quite important. Um, so I had to stick this piece of wood through it. Now, unfortunately, it's very. Uh, I had to make it very tight so it would stay in. So we just get that out. Um, you can buy these filters pre-made. Um, they're called sponge filters. Uh, you need a, a an air pump with them to make them work. Um, just how they're designed. Um, basic principle is the air gets you put your tube right onto the bottom uh, in the bottom there's a hole um, which uh, you use the a lid to make, I'll show that in a minute um, basically as the air uh, creates an air gap in here um, it causes a pressure difference so water starts to get sucked um, through the top, down through the filter and back out the bottom um, so let me get this out I'm doing two things here. One, I'm showing you how I make them, and two, I actually need to clean it. So, there we go. Now, these here are from um, an old filter. It's just this filter. Um, I don't know, it's like foam almost. Filter mesh. Very good at catching the, uh, <coughs> the larger pieces. You can also use um, this stuff here. Uh, this is, you get the, usually get them like a block. Um, I cut it up into small pieces and just jam it in the side. But uh, let me just carry on getting all this out. Right. Um, now, um, now on top of this, I also got um, some gravel. Now gravel and I'm not quite sure what these are, but they were in an old filter. These here. Um, the gravel acts as a biological filter, so that's rather important. Um, without the biological filter, your tank um, won't clean itself properly, um, so the water becomes sort of like the wrong acid levels, wrong nitrate levels, things like that. Um, so it's quite important to have this in it. Now, just get the water out. As you can see, there's quite a bit of water to come out. That's what this is on the bottom here for. Now, let me just get all the. Just got to get all the biological filter out. Right, now we can see how it works. This is how it works. This is what I mean by when you cut it in half, you have to be a bit more careful. Um, this here is actually the lid from the bottle. Um, I cut this off, 
cut it down to be quite so it fits on the inside of the bottle. It rests on the inside and creates this air gap. You won't see it very clearly, there's an air gap down the bottom. Um, I then used a bit of tape to uh, to create an air to create an airlock in there. Um, next job you do is you uh, attach this tube to it, so in there, stick it in, make it nice and tight. Uh, then cut down your bottle to make sure it's nice so you're even out. Slide this in, spike to the bottom, push it down, and then I melted. That's why I melted the corners to stop it just from freely coming out. Now. Um, just giving these a quick clean now. The base is really easy, you need a bottle. Right now, once these are clean, you would um, I put in a layer of this, these here, three or four. I then put this all in on top of that. <clears throat> and then to cap it off, I put in a few more of these here to pack it up really tight. This here is from a second bottle, it's a lid. It sits just on the inside and it's the same size as the bottle. So the lip catches on the underside and it stops anything sort of floating out. <clears throat> um, really helped that because when I, when I first did it, the, uh, the, the pressure from the, from the air bubbles was going back up the wrong way um, because these here were able to move out um, and they would start floating sort of out, something like that. They were floating a bit and one of them actually came out. So I had to um, find a way of solving that was to put a lid on. Now I'm going to clean the filter and put it back together. Um, then I'll show you uh, a few more pictures of the fish tank itself. Here you go, just a few photos or images of my tank. Show you some from the other side. few fish here, you can see that one's quite nice. Not very clear that one. There's some live plants around the back. And here it is working. So bubbling away. There we go. Bubbling away, as you can see, it has to bubble back out the top, or else it won't work. Um, if you can see down here, there we are. Uh, the f the f mesh stuff, the gravel, a bit more mesh. Putting that heat around the back, and that is it. That is my uh, homemade tropical fish tank, 100% uh, complete, and all working. So it's. Uh, Quite a nice little project. I would recommend making your own tank. It's not hard at all. People make it seem diff more difficult than it actually is, but I think it's really quite easy. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed these videos. And um, please leave any comments you have, any questions. Leave us a comment, and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. And uh, check out the rest of my videos on my channel.